We're descending into the mist. This quick mist is thicker than a Scots Dragoon. It smells almost as bad. To investigate the haunting of Jacob, there's his friend Benedict. Uh, they're both trappers and they're missing. I see fine. Ah. Boy, that's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Cool. So you can see well in the mist that Taya. Something's concealed. That's locked. Something's here. Hidden. Okay. Coming from this way? Oh, I see it. What is that? Okay, we've got to go around this way. This is pretty freaking creepy. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. What is that sound? Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Huh? Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we got to switch now. Oh, Not going to ask for help. Oh, gotta... they do look annoyed. We got to build that up. Stay put. Yes! I'm sorry. I didn't know that would happen. You got away with it. Let's find what caused it. Well, we're you both mean, kind of new to this. Died. Um. So it's not surprising that she didn't know. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. Ah, uh, another ritual. Okay. So the hearkening reveals an echo. That's what we want to use. A drop may hide the rain. Hmm. I can't. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What is she doing? Don't hurt me! <laughs> I hate you. Oh! Oh, Jacob killed him? Damn. The fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Oh. 
So is Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body if the wolves haven't gotten there first. So it's got to be down there, maybe washed up. I don't really see it here. Okay. So Antia is also um, starving for essence. So we're trying to help her through that as well. We go down this way. Uh, the one thing I found out about this game is there's apparently five different endings. So I'm assuming that's what our decisions are going to... Um, well, it's going to be the result of our, of our decisions. I'm, I'm curious to see which ones are going to be the most impactful, because he's already made some dialogue choices. But what that'll mean for the endings, I'm not sure. I'm assuming there's going to be, like... Bring back Antea, ascend her, banish her. Maybe join her? I don't know what the fifth one could be. Okay. Dust piece of eight. So wait, is that the... Is that the corpse? No. Oh, it looks like they... Maybe they dragged themselves over here? Is this supposed to be blood? Or just mud? Bloody hell. Lad's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob's been eating them. Is that, is that what's going on? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Oh, shoot. Was he really hungry enough to eat his friend? Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it. Oh, this is frickin' dark. Can't go through there, right? Okay. Well, let's, let's confront him about that. this. Did we check this out? Hmm. Try not to check the map constantly. Nice. that okay there's another one of those things dry dream catcher is the only term i can think to use to describe it for now because we haven't we haven't really learned what those are yet that was up there I'd be able to, like, shoot them later on. Dirty went in there, right? Oh, shit. I can help. Careful. Don't just stand there. Move. 
Okay. What's well, the thing that was shooting me? I think there might be more here, but let's let's go confront Jacob about what he did. On this dog first. I'm gonna get attacked. Okay, we need some more. Oh god, I have no healing left. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Damn it! Oh shoot! <gasps> Damn. Okay. How do I replenish? I guess I need to find a, a camp to rest that to replenish my healing, eh? So where? Okay, it's saved here. Let me... I am going to take a look at the map now. Did I miss... Camp somewhere around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just gonna have to play better. Oh, that was cool. It's like a running attack. Move yourself. Oh god. I couldn't move. Okay, I gotta be careful here. You got this. That's an AoE attack! Try this on for size. Get him! I don't know how the uh, health works with her. Oh, they do look annoyed. Switch! I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. Oh god! Okay, we got her this time. Oh, we got a health too. Whoo! Damn, that was intense. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We made it back. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Smart. Oh, <laughs> don't make too much noise though. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at this. How long he's been out here? Damn. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. Yeah. Like, that's pretty bad. Yes, still disgusting. It's gotta be, is it this? Bowl and spoon. Good God. A hand whittled wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob Lind. This tie, that's the tie, is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Oh, nice. There's like a recap as well. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Should I talk to him or perform the ritual? I guess we talk to him first. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Mm. Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost. But we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger. Even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Mm. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. McCray, sir. Farewell. I think... I don't think he's trying to trick us. I think he's just lost it. <laughs> okay, make the ghost manifest. Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? One thing I notice is her pin's gone, so I wonder if that... Like, her body, obviously, is with the um, nightmare. I wonder if the pin has something to do with that as well. Oh, it's both of them. Okay. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. He's got forsaken woods. Does he know he's dead? You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous, mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot so go. So he, do he does know, okay. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost in mind and reason. 
Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. Jeez. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. What does he need that he may let go? He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. Okay. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? Maybe we can reach him through scripture? Oh. Yeah. This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. Th Goodbye! <laughs> Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Okay. Jacob must, must confess. Ghost of Benedict Stoughton wants Jacob Lynn to tell the truth and admit his cannibalism. It's an inhabited portrait. The ghost of Trapper Benedict Stoughton stands exhausted but proud. A separating wound to his head is likely the cause of his death. The circles under his eyes match the exhaustion in his voice. Let's confess. Hmm. His denial runs strong. He must have loved Ben very much. Did I miss the uh, the key to this? Maybe we get it later. Did I look at this? Jacob's Bible. I think I did read it, right? Oh yeah, whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Well, if he believes that, he might fight back. We have to... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Um. Let's try to coax it out of him. Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. So you made it stop. Do you remember now? I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't 
think when I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whispers said, Oh. It was him or me. Him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my the sins, whispers. I deserve no better. I fail God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. He was thinking it too, right? You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher. Do your job. So I guess he can't see Antea, right? If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Oh. Red, if we take one step along that path, Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. <laughs> oh, no! You have reached the closure of a haunting case. As a banisher, you must decide blame the haunted inhabitant, ascend the ghost, or banish the ghost. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way. Red and Antea evolve as a couple. Reminder, if Red wishes to bring Antea back to life, you must blame the largest number of living settlers. We're bringing her back. You will sacrifice the settler with a blame ritual. This decision will contribute to Antea's resurrection since a resurrection ritual will only work if the largest number of settlers are sacrificed. So ascend, this decision will contribute to Antea's ascent or banish. I'm bringing her back, baby. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. He seems cool with it. I can't believe we're doing this! <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. We just sucked his essence out. He's taking it. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve.
It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. Wow. So that's how this is... We can't, level up! That's how this plays out? Oh. I, 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 I'm just really interested to see how this path, like where it takes us. How, how is it going to affect our relationship? We got another point. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15%. The higher, oh yeah, yeah, it has to be this or that. Or no, this or we have to change it up. Perfect switch. Switch to Antea right after a front dodge to trigger a melee attack that ignores resistance. Okay. So we've got that. Unrelenting. More light attacks. Do more damage. Fourth light attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. Then we charge that up. Area for area of effect. What do you guys think? What would you have done? Or what are you guys doing in your game? Because uh, this is out now, so you can make your you can play it yourself and make your own decisions. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. And it's unlocked. <laughs> oh, great. We took his money. That's great. Feel I feel dirty. Oh, okay. So she has her own thing. I did not... Does that mean I can remove... No, because those are red points, right? So I don't have any for her. Oh, those are red also. Okay. Um... Taya can cross ethereal portals that act like shortcuts through the invisible into the incarnate. Combat Antea can dash towards enemies, dealing a small amount of damage. Elite Manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of Essence soaking Benedict's tie. Oh. Okay. Initiator. Damage dealt by red is increased by 30% against full health enemies. Kindred. The fourth heavy attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. Those require the blue. Okay. Heavy artillery. Charge heavy attacks damage increased by 20%. Parrying resource 15 spirit points. I can wait. I'm happy with what we have. Um, Let's do upgrades. Saber and Firebane. Has an upgrade available. R uh, Roderick set. The small holes drilled along the blade can hold Bane powder. When the fire Bane's mechanism is triggered, it prompts a fast and ruthless ignition, dangerous to ghosts. This specific blade was made from the remains of a shorter one, engraved with the crest of the McWraith clan and the name Aife. Oh, I don't have the scourge accretion for that. Okay. The amulet can be upgraded. Damage taken by Antea is reduced by 5%. Oh, that hasn't that doesn't change. Alright. I need wool and nest silts for the next one, it looks like. Still figuring all this stuff out. And rest. Are we going to get hit by another nightmare? 
Right, and she doesn't have to rest, so she just watches. That man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. Uh, we're committing. We made the right choice. And we made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. Red is about to swear an oath to Antea, and together they will choose her fate. Choices you make when bringing closure impact your chances to fulfill the promise made to one another. Remember, you remain free to make any choice you want when bringing closure, no matter the oath you have sworn, as long as you are ready to face the consequences. Red swears he will help Antea come back to life once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. To keep this oath, Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. Right. That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. She's kind of going back on how she felt about uh, Charles. That's the one kind of weird thing about this, but she wasn't a ghost then. So. Wow. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I'll see you guys on the next one, and I love you all. I would bring, I would murder a bunch of people to bring you guys back from the dead. That's how much I love you.